um, one of the power supply boards and uh, I've replaced this uh, rectifier at the moment that's what I'm just doing at the moment and uh, <coughs> the voltage regulator I'm going to come on to that next that's a 7812 and um, it's definitely a, a fault on this board I'm pretty much certain about that uh, these smoothing capacitors here if this doesn't fix it then I think it could be a, a short in the smoothing capacity because uh, nothing seems to be getting to the voltage regulator um, unless something's dragging it down and going through the whole circuit here I and mean, this is a pretty standard circuit with your, your rectifier and um, uh, smoothing between the um, DC positive and the common and a little bit more to make it even nicer smoothing and uh, the uh, voltage rectifier which drops it to 12 volts so I'm going to put this board back in here now see it's one of, one of three boards here and uh, that just goes in there like that and then we'll give it. I haven't got the heat sink on here yet, but it's only going to be on for an instant. So we'll switch it on now. And see what happens. Well, we're all plugged into and switched on. The accordion is plugged in there. Now there's another fault on the accordion, um, and that is there's um, a note sticking. I'm not going to worry about that right now. What I want to do is get some check the power supply. We've got the accordion plugged in there. Um, well, this is the accordion into the. Um, system box then from the uh, system box or preamp whatever then goes to the amplifier and then to the speaker below so <coughs> um, yeah the fault was before that it wor only worked for a second when I first got it and then it stopped all together and I was checking the power supplies distribution around here and um, it stopped all together but after touching the original uh, rectifier with my soldering on the back it uh, started to work so I thought well that's heating it up and it's that but we'll give it a chance now and see what happens so I'm going to switch on now and uh, I particularly want to see if the light comes on if it's possible in the um, foot control because there's a photo diode in there so let's give it a try here we go I'm going to switch on the wall now and then switch on here, hopefully we get the sounds of a sticking note. Well, that sounds good. That's very encouraging. That's good, that's good. And we've got the bass. And the note that's sticking. First thing I've got to do before I go testing it is get the heat sink on this <laughs> voltage regulator, which gets pretty hot pretty quick. Um, but th they are infamous for getting hot. But uh, so let's get the heat sink on this board before we go pushing our luck and burning out the fucking voltage. Re oh, excuse me, French. Burning out the voltage regulator. Right. Put the heat sink on, he says. Where is it? Hmm. Anyway, I'll get that fine out from somewhere and we'll put that on. Heat sink, and uh, now we're just going to put the board back on here and uh, bring this over here. This has got to be pushed over a little post here. So there we are. It looks as if that was the fault, the regulator, the, um, the rectifier.
on the underside of this box this control box is switched off at the wall um, you've still got to watch smoothing capacitors now. Um, there are hundreds of fine wires which go all around the edges so you can't even see them with the camera or you can, you can just see them these go all the way around here uh, it's just as well they're in a hard box because if they weren't it wouldn't last two seconds um, now <coughs> I'm going to have to physically check all the um, the C sharp on all of these perhaps um, I'm going to have to go all around all these because they're all, they're all lettered these notes are what notes they are and um, check if there's a physical fault I suspect it's probably on the accordion we'll have to see well I've got the um, system box turned up I've got the voltmeter here I want to check on this uh, 12 volt here and see if we're getting the right voltages before I put it all back together again um, negatives clamped to the chassis there so switch on and we should get that sustained note playing all the time but that's irrelevant at the moment so now I'm I want to check the voltage here now and just see if we're getting that 12 volts yes we are or 11.64 Assemble this now. Um, I've put this clamp back on the top here and I've checked um, wire underneath to make sure there's nothing stupid just shorted out, causing that C sharp to stick. The reason I think it's in the accordion is because it's the same on every um, <coughs> every level of uh, uh, pipe size or the uh, what they call it timber, tom tombra. Uh, it's the same, it's stuck on every single one. So it's something to do, I think, with the control section. If it was under here, then it would be stuck on a particular um, setting. Um, so anyway, we're going to reassemble it now, check the voltage underneath, put the clamp back on. And so it's just a question of reassembling this little bit now. I suppose some people might say, well, why don't you... Um, why don't you leave this open? And work on the accordion. Well, <coughs> I just prefer not to. It's as simple as that. And uh, I'd rather reassemble this part. So I'll put the nuts and bolts in. I won't bore you with that part. Right, now we're going to put it back in the case now. <coughs> this is the bottom half of the case. <coughs> one, two, three, four bolts sticking up. And these line in with one, two, three and four over there be very careful because if you get it in the wrong position you want to stick it through this circuit board and that wouldn't be good would it so let's get up by the part bring it over here Um, just a little tip for you. See, the, you've got to get these, um, you've got to get these spring washers onto that there, onto that bolt sticking up. So how do you do it without getting your fingers all over these transistors here, bending them and shorting them out? What you do is, you get your spring washer and a small screwdriver. Put the washer on the spring on the screwdriver, then poke the top of the screw the end of the screwdriver onto that bolt and let the washer drop down and there we are it's dropped on to the bolt well as you can see um, I've got the accordion on the bench now and the uh, um, whatever box it is foot box <laughs> the system box if you like 
asking to come there because now we're going to be starting to find out about this C sharp note which is sticking and it's the C sharp notes which is uh, an octave above C there. Middle C there is the C sharp here. By the way, middle C on the accordion physically and looking at the keyboard is in fact there and not that one. That's because this is treble. The bass is here. That is physically middle C. And I know you can change the octaves with your cutters and you can make that a, a, an octave above middle C, two octaves above middle C, even an octave below middle C. But that is middle C on the accordion. There we are. So we'll make a start. We're going to remove the um, cover, take these sliders off as well. Um, just the knobs off the sliders and the two end screws here. Um, put them over there, that way, and then you can <coughs> pop these off here. Got to be careful taking these off because they're so easy to break. You see, so many amplifiers, usually on the uh, um, uh, on these sliders with these knobs broken, so you need to be very careful how you get these off. Try and get the screwdriver underneath so it's pressed up against the shaft and then you won't bend the shaft too much then and break them. You see them on graphic equalizers, they're all snapped off, you know. <laughs> and then we can carefully you've got to get this part across the microphone output um, jack on the bottom there. So that's just come off that. Yeah, good. And now we can get started on this. Right, so here we are with the cover off. Um, plug the accordion in and we're just going to confirm that we've got the right uh, sticky note definitely that C sharp. Now this C sharp note, I'll try and show it you, you can see it in there. And the way to get access to that is this is hinged. So we should be able to lift that panel up. And there's two screws, one there and one there. So we'll just try those two screws to see if it will lift up. There are also Two screws at the bottom there on that bracket which needs to be under. There's a screw here as well. That one there. It seems that uh, the whole panel wants to come out. So there's a screw here and there's another one there which we're going to have to take out as well. And there, the whole panel lifts up gently and right, well there we are we've got the panel off here resting by the side there and um, we can see how these uh, there's the C sharp now looking at that you can see that it's actually come out let's get this in focus it's actually come out of its carrier so I think that's probably the problem so we can just push that back inside let's see if I can get a good close up for you you can actually see that these are contained in that plastic um, grip holder job thingy claw if you like but the C-sharp is in fact sticking up. So I think that's probably the fault. So we'll just pop that back in there. Make sure it's down properly. Now why did that pop out, I ask myself. Is it because the claw itself, I'll call it a claw, is opened up? So I might 
I don't know whether I should try clamping that up a bit. Um, I don't want it to come out again, that's for sure. Hmm. Before we do that, I'd better explain something. The way these notes work, when you press a note, you can see this flexible coil uh, spring, right? What it does, it lifts, the note lifts up and it presses the, uh, we'll call it, see the long spring thing here. Let's get a look, let's get the accord in the right oil. Um, you see these long spring jobs here, right? Now what happens when you um, press a note down, it lifts that spring up and it presses this common rail here, okay? And it's electrically connected down here and it makes the connection for the various notes through there. So if you get notes which are not playing properly, it could be that this bar here, if you've got multiple notes which are all, you know, <coughs> and you press them and all that, it could be the connection underneath there which they need cleaning up. And what you have to do to clean that up is to, you have to remove this bar. Uh, on this one looks like a snapping part. It snaps into there. And this end as well, which has got a soldered component on here. Um, which is giving us this power supply, if you like. Uh, and those are the red leads on there. Um, anyway, it's only it's, it's just the one long, one joint there. And what you can do is, is clean that up gently with a bit of uh, perhaps a bit of emery paper. Make sure it's clean after you've cleaned it. You don't want the bits of emery getting in there. And then you'll find your notes are not uh, crotchety when you play them. Crotchety. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> you know, that sort of a <coughs> when you get a note that's not playing properly on electronic recording. Um, so let's give that a try anyway. Now we'll just put this cover back over here gently, does it? We don't need problems. I've already put the um, nuts and bolts back into the preset um, buttons that are right there, which there's a nut and the bolt there. I'll put that back in already. Now what we've got to do now is get this back in place on here. Easy does it. So be very gentle that you this, this I mean this accordion here is what, 25, 30, 30 years, well it's gotta be 30 years old I think. So we've got to put this on nice and gently. We don't want to upset the fella. He's only young for an accordion. 30 years old is nothing for an accordion. Um, it's uh, it's quite a young age for an accordion that is. Um, now why this panel has got a hinge on it is beyond me. Um, because you, you you can't you you can't actually hinge the accordion up. You can't hinge the um, board up on it anyway. So why they put a hinge on that I don't know. But that tucks in there gently does it bring this flap down and then if we've got it all lined up properly that's in the right place there we'll put in our one two three four five six seven eight seven eight screws I won't bore you with putting them in okay we put all our screws back in one two three four five, six, seven and eight. It's important to pull the screws back in with electronic accordions uh, because sometimes the screws are um, used to give a, a line for your electrical circuit. If it's grounding it to the chassis and in some are part of these boards, uh, they are grounded to the uh, chassis. So it's important to pull the screws back in. So now we'll give it a test now and see what happens. Uh, hopefully, so we'll switch the um, I like all the system box on. And uh, well, that sounds right there, doesn't it? I think we'll give it a test now and see what happens. Right, this is just a first try test, Dad.